Hey guys, it's Steph. Welcome back to my channel. So I've got another quick declutter for you guys today. I'm going to be going through my highlighters. Um, highlighters are kind of a favorite item of mine. So most of the ones that I have, I do reach for quite a bit, but I'm sure there's some in here that I've been in here for too long that have expired and probably a couple that I just don't reach for and need to pass along. So I am going to go through and see what is what. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm gonna just start with my liquid highlighters. This is the Peter Thomas Raw 24 Karat Gold Prison Cream. I talked about this in my favorites this month, I or last month, sorry. I absolutely love this. I use it um, in conjunction with my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer and it just creates a really pretty glow. Definitely keeping this. This is the Becca uh, Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. I really, really like this. I'll give you guys just a quick little swatch in case you haven't seen it. I'm sure most of you guys have. It packs a punch, but it is beautiful. I like to put just a little bit of this on the high points of my cheeks and blend it out with a beauty blender. Um, love this, keeping this for sure. This is the L'Oreal True Match Liquid Glow Illuminator. I had all three of these at one point. Um, I reviewed these for you guys in like a what's new at the drugstore video a while back. Um, I gave the other two away to friends because I just didn't think they were the best colors for me. I thought I would use this one, but I really haven't been reaching for it because I love the Champagne Pop or my Peter Thomas Roth, so I am gonna pass this one along. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. I've used quite a bit of it, you guys can probably see. I've talked about this in favorites as well, but I'm definitely gonna keep it. I like to use it as a primer or mix it in with my foundation just like I do with the Prism Cream, so this is staying. I've got two of the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. These are insanely beautiful. I will link my review for them below, but these are definitely staying. I use these quite a bit just on their own as Highlighters on the high points of my cheeks. Sometimes I do mix a drop with my foundation. These are amazing and I love them. Got two highlighters from ColourPop, one that I use quite a bit. This is called Lunch Money, I think. Yes, it's not gonna focus. Lunch Money. Um, it's just a really pretty, soft, kind of champagne-y gold. I love this color, so I am gonna keep this one. This is called Butterfly Beach, and I don't know that I've ever actually worn this. I've swatched it a few times. It's pretty, but I always, always reach for um, lunch money instead. So I have a couple friends that I think would use this more, so I'm going to pass this one along. Okay, I do have this guy from Essence from their Hidden Stories collection. When I first hauled this, I thought I would wear it so much. It is very pretty. It's got this lavender tone. To be honest though, I never reach for it. I wore it one day and I don't know, it was okay, but it was just... It shows up better in a swatch than it does on the skin. I like it, but I just don't reach for it enough, so I am gonna pass this along. Okay, I have two from Hourglass. This is Ethereal Light and this is Luminous Light. I use them both. Ethereal Light I use as an all over setting powder some days. Um, I've actually gone through a whole um, tin of this, package of this already, and this one I use quite a bit as well, so these are staying. I love these. Okay, this is Light Scapade from MAC, and I remember telling you guys last year that if I didn't use this up soon, I would just have to get rid of it, because I've had it for such a long time, like years and years and years, and I have not touched it in a full year. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this one go. Same kind of goes for this guy. I used to use it quite a bit, but I haven't touched it in well over a year. It's the Physician's Formula Natural Nude Palette, and it makes a really pretty just all over highlight. It's a great option from the drugstore. I've probably had this for five years, so I don't know that I feel comfortable passing it along. I'm gonna put it in the expired pile for now. Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I showed you guys this on Snapchat. It is beautiful. It's a warmer kind of golden-y, um, very natural looking highlight. It's like $4.99 Canadian. It's a great drugstore option, keeping that. Okay, this is the Lancome Blush Highlighter and I love the packaging. I never reach for this and I wish I did because it wasn't cheap. I think I got sucked in by the beautiful like rose packaging, but it's just, I don't know. It's a little bit underwhelming. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put this on my desk and I'm going to wear it this week and at the end of the week if I decide I don't like it I'm going to put it in the pass along pile but I feel like I need to give it a fair shot so I'm going to keep it for now. All right this is the Cover FX Moonlit or sorry Moonlight highlighter. I really like this. It's just a very pretty natural kind of highlighter. I'm going to keep it. All right this guy is from Dior and it's called the Nude Air Glowing Gardens 
highlighter, I guess. <laughs> um, it's really pretty. I like to dust this on the high points of my cheeks, on my decollete, on my shoulders, you know, that kind of thing. It's quite pretty and I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but I have made a bit of a dent in it, like the imprint is kind of worn down. So this one's really nice and I'm gonna keep it. Okay, this is the Mary Illuminizer from The Bomb. At one point, this was all I ever used. I don't use it that much anymore. But um, I said this about my Naked palettes, I don't reach for them as much anymore either, but I like to have this on hand for comparison's sake. Um, I'm always trying to like dupe it and that sort of thing. So I am keeping it. I'm aware that it's expired and I no longer put it on my face, but I want it just for comparison's sake in future videos. So I'm gonna hang on to it for that reason. It's by Josie Marin and it is a, oops, how do you open this? Um, it's a pretty little highlighter that came in a uh, Sephora 500 point perk. Um, it's nice, but again, I just, I don't really reach for it. It's this nice kind of champagne-y color, but I always reach for the Essence one. So I am gonna put this in the Pass Along pile. Hard Candies Tiki, it's sold as a bronzer, but it works as a beautiful highlighter. Definitely keeping this. All right, I've got three from Becca here. This is um, Moonstone, it's the poured version, so it's like the cream finish. I love this, I'm going to keep it for sure. Um, I also have the Moonstone uh, pressed version, which is one of my all-time favorites. I use that a lot. And then I have Champagne Pop, but as you guys will see, it suffered uh, an unfortunate mishap. So I know that I could probably, you know, smush this back together and set it with some alcohol, but I already have it again in the larger Jaclyn Hill palette. And so when I reach, reach for it, I just reach for this palette. So I'm gonna keep the palette, but I'm going to ditch this because it's it's broken. This one's from Bobbi Brown. I think this was limited edition, but I think they brought it back. It's called Pink Glow. It's really pretty. It's a little bit hit or miss because it depends on what kind of marbleized effect you get as to if it's gonna lean more pink or more like ivory. Mine's a pretty good mix. I really do like this. It's just a little bit different. It's a bit of a cooler toned highlighter. So I am gonna keep that. Okay, two from L'Oreal and these went along with that other collection that I showed you guys earlier. Um, I reached for this one, it's called Rose. It's really pretty, I'm gonna keep that one. But I don't reach for this one. It's just a little too um, warm for my skin tone, but I have a friend that I already know it would look really pretty on, so I'm gonna pass that along to her. Last but not least, I've got two palettes. This is the Anastasia Glow Kit. I love this. Crush Pearl is my absolute favorite. I also really like Starburst. I like putting this on top of some of my blushes as a topper. These are a little bit warmer and I use them kind of like bronzers in the summer, so keeping this for sure. This guy is from NYX and I like it. I don't think it's bad. It's hit or miss actually. Like a couple of the colors in here I'm not crazy about, but a couple of them are quite pretty. But um, I just don't find myself reaching for it. I feel like I have other things that I reach for more in my collection. So I know that someone else would get more use out of this. So I am gonna pass this one along. Okay, so these are the two products that I've had in my collection for years. I wanna say like maybe even five. I know they have expired. So I am gonna let these ones go. These are the products that I'm going to be passing along to friends that I know are gonna get more use out of them than myself. And then these are the highlighters that I decided to keep in my collection. I can honestly say, with the exception of this one, I reach for all of these quite regularly. Um, so this one I am going to make a point of reaching for more this week. And like I said, at the end of the week, if I decide I'm not using it enough, I will put it in the giveaway pile. But for now, I'm gonna give it another whirl. So that is it for my highlighter declutter. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Take care of each other, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. <music>